Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn direct and indirect speech. Guys, uh, it's going to be an introduction of direct and indirect speech and in my next video I'll let you know that uh, what direct speech is converted into what direct speech. I mean what tense is converted into uh, what tense when it comes to direct and indirect speech. So right now the first thing we are going to talk about direct and indirect speech which is direct speech. What is a direct speech? A direct speech is also known as coded speech. Why it is known as coded speech? Because it follows the same wording of the person had said earlier. Like here it is saying, it is saying exactly what the person had said. Suppose if I am going to talk about someone like my friend Mr. Kamil said something to me and I quote the same words to someone so it's going to be a direct speech and remember one more thing that we use inverted commas in it. What are inverted commas or the quotation marks you call them? Okay, so this is how we uh, actually identify that what is the direct speech and it has uh, inverted commas and it is also called quoted speech. Now we'll be going for some examples. As you see, the word tenses do not change since we use the same words. So remember, when you're actually uh, forming a direct speech, in that the same tense will be used. For example, here it is. I am 15 years old, so you now you're going to make it direct speech. So it becomes, suppose the speaker is she, so she say, I am 15 years old, or you can also say, I am 15 years old. She say. Remember the quotation marks will be uh, on the words of the other speakers. Here is I am 15 years old. This entire sentence is in the quotation marks, right? And the full stop is in the quotation mark, not after that. In the next sentence, I am 15 years old, comma, and quotation marks are here. It's covering the entire sentence. And full stop here because the sentence is ending here, right? Here the sentence is continuing. This is why there are uh, com there is a comma and here is a full now, stop. We have some more examples of direct speech. So here we go. Can you give me some food? Suppose the speaker is a male, he, so we're going to say, he say, comma, can you give me some food, question mark, and then inverted commas. Another example is, get out. Suppose Mr. James say, get out, so it's going to be, Mr. James say, get out. So here you go, comma, inverted commas, get out, exclamation mark, and inverted commas, close. And the last example is, we will visit our parents this winter, so they say, we will visit our parents this winter. So these are the examples of direct speech. Now we'll go for indirect speech. What are indirect speeches? So, indirect speech is also known as reported speech. So if you see anywhere say reported speech or convert this direct speech into a reported speech, it means that you need to convert it into an indirect speech. The next is it doesn't use the same words or it doesn't use uh, the quotation marks. Why? Because we are not using the same words anymore. We are changing the sentence. So it is understood that the speaker is has said something else, right? So here the next one is what the person has said does not need to be the same. Remember, does not need to be the same means it is not necessary to actually change the tense. Remember, when, uh, suppose, somebody asks me something and I tell him that my father is a businessman, so he goes to somebody else and uses indirect speech and tells that my that Hussain said his father is a businessman is correct. Why? Because my father is, is still a businessman. So remember when the truth is still the truth, you are going to use the same tense used. As we all know when it is an indirect speech, we convert from direct speech. So what we do, we use passive tense instead of principal tense. And principal tense means something that is no more truth or that is no more happening. So remember this, right? We'll be going for the examples of indirect speech. So you see, I have written some sentences here, and here are the conversions of these sentences into an indirect speech. Remember, I told you that the verb tenses do change. So passive uh, principal changes into a passive, passive changes into past perfect, and the rest, of course, I'll let you know in my next video. So the first example is, I am hungry. So suppose the speaker is she, a female, so she's saying that. 
that is in bracket because it is optional if you want to use that you use it if you don't want to use that it's okay it's not compulsory to be there all right so the next thing was that we do not use quotation marks so you see she said that or she said she was hungry so there are no quotation marks why because you already know that the verb tense has changed so it simply means it is not a direct speech the next example is they are going to the bank so they said that they were going to the bank present simple changes into past simple i've just told you the rest i know i have told you that i will let you know in my next video okay the next is my teacher told me to study harder so the speaker was again she so her teacher had told her to study harder and the last one is it is just for your understanding that my father is a doctor of course if i say my father is a doctor and alhamdulillah he is still alive so when you are going to tell someone that he say what you going to use his father was no was because he is still a doctor so you are going to say he say that his father is a doctor we have an exercise for you that you are going to find out the mistakes in these four different sentences so the exercise is correct the wrong sentences i will definitely let you know the right answers but before that you have to tell me so the first sentence is she said that in order to come on quotation marks we call it she was watching tv what is the mistake here okay let's go to the right answer she said that she was watching tv as it is and in that in speech you are not going to use in order to come on you know it right the next sentence is i will buy a new bike or say what are the mistakes here the middle commas are covering the entire sentence please tell me what are the mistakes here and write the uh, correct one okay so i will buy a new bike or say the mistake is that the middle commas are covering the entire sentence so it should have been only here and or say should have been without the middle commas because these are the words said by r and this is a direct speech the next sentence is he said let's watch a movie together so he said comma let's watch a movie together and to we'll stop so where is the mistake here okay so he said inverted commas let's watch the movie together inverted commas are going to cover this sentence because this is a direct speech the last one the doctor told him comma inverted commas that he needs to rest where did where where the mistake here okay so the doctor told him that he needs to rest there is no need of inverted commas here i hope you have understood that again that again speech quite well see you in my next videos allah hafiz for more videos please subscribe our youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon